explain to you quickly how you can use PuTTY to access the over the wire and under the wire SSH challenges if you're doing this on your home computer um, or anywhere besides LBCC. If you're at LBCC, there's a little PuTTY icon right there on your, your desktop and you could just double click on that and go. If you're not, then just Google PuTTY and then you go to putty.org and you can download putty here. It's just that simple. Uh, you're gonna install the, you're gonna download the Windows installer. You're probably gonna get the 64 bit. And eventually that's gonna come down. And under downloads, boom, bada boom. You're gonna run it. Click next, where you wanna put it. Uh, you can just leave this default, click install. Finish. I don't really need to view the README file. And boom, PuTTY is now installed on my system. Close that. Uh, like I said, it was before, but I can open up PuTTY if I double click on it and I get this configuration here. Um, and the important things are one that we're using SSH. That's the type of connection we want to create with a remote host, which will look very similar in the the Linux class to what you've done in the command terminal, and it'll look very similar to what you've seen in Windows if you uh, run the command prompt. It's a little bit different. There are a few options that aren't there, but basically it's the same. Uh, and then the host name, which we're going to connect to, and the port. And let me show you how we would find that information. So if we go to over the wire, <clears throat> this is where many of your puzzles are going to be for the Linux class or some of the extra credit that you will do in the Windows class. Well, actually, over the wire is Linux. And then under the wire, uh, PowerShell. <clears throat> so under the wire is for doing PowerShell training in Windows. Uh, but it's the same kind of thing where there are little challenges that you need to do in order to get the next password, to get to the next level. So if we click on Bandit here, we see there are many, many levels. It actually goes down farther. There are 32 levels in Bandit. And if I click on level zero, it tells me, okay, to get to level zero, you have to connect to this website on port 2220. The username is Bandit zero and the password is Bandit zero, right? Once you're logged in, go to the level one page to learn how to beat level one. So we'll go ahead and copy pasta that. Boom, bada, boom. And paste that in there. And then it had said port 2220. So I'm going to add 20. And I can give this a name and save this session. And I'm, I'm just going to say Bendito and save it. And it makes it a little bit faster to reload it later. Uh, however, on the machines in the lab, that'll just get wiped, but you can do that at home. Click open. <clears throat> then the first thing it's, it pops open this window and then it says, hey, you're connecting over a secure channel um, and it's using this key. Are you sure you trust it? And you're gonna say yes. And boom, now I have a login and remember the username and password is bandit zero. Bandit zero and hit enter. And then it says, what's your password? And it is bandit zero. Now notice when I typed bandit zero the second time, well, let me try it again. Bandit zero. When I typed bandit zero the second time, oh, I typed the wrong login up here. So now I got to cancel and start over. <clears throat> Which is let me go ahead and load that and open. And now it's bandit zero and then bandit zero. But notice it didn't show anything when I was typing bandit zero as my password. That's a default for security reasons to not show how many characters you're typing. But now I'm here and I can look at what's there. And if I go back here and I go to the level zero to level one, it tells me here's how you find the password to log in uh, as bandit one, and then we'll log in as bandit two and on and on and on. 
Um, so yeah, that's basically how you get started with these under the wire and over the wire games on a Windows machine. If you're on a Linux machine or a Mac, it's actually much easier. Um, you type SSH, uh, then bandit zero at, um, that bandit zero at bandit.labs.overthewire.org colon two, 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 zero, and then it'll prompt you for the password. So you can do that directly in the command prompt for Linux and Windows or Linux and Mac machines. It's only Windows that you have to download this third party tool. Hope that makes sense. Hope everything is clear. If you have any questions, let me know.